Stayallday.com So on this drill, I'm going to do two wide crosses and then three tight ones. So three tight, one, two wide, and then three tight dribbles. One, two wide, and three tight dribbles. So just working on changing the tempo, of course, changing the range of the crosses that I'm doing here. You want to keep your eyes up, try to get as much extension as possible in your arms so you keep that dribble as low as possible. And if you're going to go to the outside, you want to get as wide as possible. So as I say in every ball hand on drill, find ways to challenge yourself. You're going to lose the ball when you do dribble on drills. You might not be perfect at it when you first start doing the drill. That's okay. That's a part of learning in anything. You're not going to be perfect immediately. It's not going to come to you in a week or two weeks. It might not even come to you in a month. And if it does, you still got to keep working on it for years and years to stay good at it. So even if you get good immediately, you still got to keep working to stay good. So don't buy into anyone telling you it should only take this amount of time or they did it in that amount of time. As long as you're playing basketball, you will always be practicing. It never comes a point where you can say, all right, I'm good. I don't need to practice no more. So in that video, the simple daily dribbling drills, when I say you need to work on this for five years to be good at handling, even if you get good in two months, you still got to keep working on your handle in order to keep it. You're not just going to stay good at dribbling if you stop working. You got to keep working forever. As long as you're going to be a player, you're going to keep, keep working. So how long do you plan on playing? you plan on playing for at least five more years then yeah you're gonna be working on your handle for five more years hit that thumbs up button and like this drill any questions for me leave them in the comments work on your game dre all day